when I sit close to my partner. Babe, you almost spilled juice I on my laptop, I did, bro. I did, not, I did not know it was open. Hey, bro. I said, can you give me the juice? I didn't know it was So y'all, oh my god. I'm sorry. Move now, we're, now we're homeless. Now we're homeless because I can't even eat. I can't feed the family no more. What is up, everybody? And welcome back to the most average mukbang, mukbang, bang, whatever you want to call it in the world. And as you can see, we have Popeyes, and we're joined by the beautiful, lovely, one and only Sarah. Happy um, Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, baby. And today, while we enjoy this lovely Popeye selection we have here, we will be doing the five love language couple quiz. Uh, I'll put the link below of the love language quiz that we are doing. But don't you worry, people. We don't do much here. Oh, I messed up. Damn it. Don't you worry. We don't but don't do worry. Yeah, fuck. Fuck. It's because you're hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry. All right, here we let's go. Let's just quit. Let's just cut to the to the book. To the no. We're eating the the chicken sandwiches right now. Delicious. Is it? It doesn't. I'm not. Oh, it looks good. Oh, fuck. Mm. It's good. It's good. It is very good. Okay. I got so distracted so after eating. We've done this a really long time ago, but this one's a little different. It's a couple's love languages. So I'm really interested to see the results. So the profile says. The five love languages profile will give you a thorough analysis of your emotional communication preference. It will sing out your primary love language, what it means, and how you can use it to connect with your loved one with intimacy and fulfillment. But please choose the statement that captures the essence of what it is or would be most meaningful to you. Mm. I'm gonna need a drink and the fries. Oh, you got it right here, you go. Handle that. Um, so we're going to fill out this contact information and we're going to get started. Alright, show them. No. This is what we're eating. Fries. Biscuits. Gotta have the biscuits, but have a drink when you eat these biscuits because you'll die. If you, if you don't have a drink when you eat these biscuits, apple pie. Apple what? pie. What else is there? Oh, there's but, a spicy chicken oh, sandwich. This, oh. We got this classic and I got, oh, you're eating the spicy one. And then I got a classic one, so. It's not that spicy. We got Arnold Palmer and your variety of sauces. Yeah, this is cracking. This is the best video we've ever done. This is the best video I've ever done, guys. It's the best Valentine's Day. Best ever. Valentine's Day ever. <laughs> Don't get your girl flowers. Get her a chicken sandwich, y'all. Um. Don't do that. Okay. flowers. We're each gonna take the love language quiz. Same quiz, different answers. Please. And we're gonna figure out what our love languages are at the end of this. Um, I think Sarah's is gonna be physical touch. Why? Cookie. Because you always want my cuddle <laughs> and my hug. And I think yours is gonna be. Wait. So what are the five again? I don't know. We're gonna find out at the end. I don't know. I think that is. Physical touch, words of affirmation. Acts of service. Acts of service, gifts. Oh, gifts. I think mine's gonna be gifts. You can't just say that yours is gifts. Okay, there's one more. Oh, quality time. Quality time. That's not gonna be ours. <laughs> That's why I didn't want we, that one. we live quality time. We have Elijah, we don't get to spend quality time. All right, first question. It's more meaningful to me when A, I receive a loving note, text, email for no special reason from my loved one, B, my partner I hug. I'm going to go with A for me. B. Sarah's B. Already different. <laughs> it's more meaningful to me when A, I can spend time alone with my partner, just the two of us. My partner does something practical to help me out. <laughs> B. I'm going to go with A. <laughs> I'm not going to have any of the same. It's more meaningful to me when 
My partner gives me a little gift as a token of our love for each other. I get to spend uninterrupted leisure time with my partner, AKA. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, y'all. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna go with uh, A. Get my partner gives me a little gift. <laughs> B. Well, as you can see so far, Sarah and I's love language does not seem to be the same. My partner unexpectedly does something for me like filling my car with gas or doing the laundry. And or my partner and I touch. Hey, I'm gonna go with um, filling my car with gas. For sure. Not that I don't like touching you, but. No, like if you nice were to do the laundry, I'd probably like on the nights when you like do the dishes or something, I'm like, oh my god. You wanna touch me more? I love this. <laughs> you wanna touch me more when I do the laundry? <laughs> I'll do the so laundry, I can't mom, do it. No. So, as a mom, like, you're like gonna do something, like. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, just biscuit. I'm stumbling killing. over my words. But like, yeah, if you like help out around the house with shit, that's like super helpful. So Uncle like, Xavier, you want something to eat, bro? Bro, I was over here asleep, bro. Oh. Come in. Come get some. All right, guys, you guys will meet, um, Uncle Xavier in one of these videos here in the future, but he's just, uh, go ahead, bro. Whatever you need. What do you think your love language is? Uh, I don't know, you gotta turn on some Joe to see your Keith Sweat from my Well, that don't language. got nothing to do with your love that language. That got everything bro. to do with my love language. It's spicy and mild, bro, so I don't know, you just gonna have to experiment and see. Well, you better just go poop, bro. Um, my partner does things for me instead of just talking about doing nice things. <laughs> <laughs> I wait, <laughs> wait, wait, it's funny because... <laughs> okay, Chris always, like, after, like, a big party or a birthday or whatever, he'll always say, like, I was gonna do this, like I was gonna play in this or get you this, and it's always something like really cool. I'm like, you could have just left that out. Like, you don't have to tell me what you were gonna do. Well, it's so cool. I have to like let her know that it was in the like you had to go. <laughs> that it was in the thoughts. My partner works on special projects with me that I have to complete. My partner gives me an exciting gift. I'm gonna go with the exciting gift. We're doing a special project right now. Is this, a special, is this a special project? It's not a special project. No, I'm project. participating with you. Right? This is, yeah, I guess. Any. What do you, <laughs> yeah, you're eating, you're only doing it because I bought you Popeyes. <sighs> Sarah called me before this like I'm starving and I was like, well, I want to do a mukbang. And she was like, I'll do it if you buy the food. So here we are. Um, it's to me when my partner and I share non-sexual touch in public, or my partner offers to run errands for me. Oh, run errands. <laughs> run errands. <laughs> my part. Hi, Mama. You, you want some one? chicken? Oh, it's more meaningful to me when my partner does a bit more than his or her normal share of responsibilities around the house or work-related, etc. In parentheses. I get a good. <laughs> that's for all the men. Because <laughs> they're like, what responsibilities? <laughs> <laughs> like saving the world, like, like Call of Duty. Yeah, I yeah, save that. Stuff around the house. <laughs> I get a gift that I know my partner put thought into choosing. You know, B. A. I know, cause I don't do anything around the house. Yeah, I don't need. I don't need no help. Okay, anyways, it's more meaningful to me when my part. Guys, if you can't see what's going on here, <laughs> bring her up. Bring I'll, her up. I'll bring her up. Thomas, <laughs> what is this she red is so stuff on your head? Probably Elijah the Otter. Elijah! You messed up Mama's coat. So I just got my results. They break down your love language from your most top love language all the way down to the least. So they rank them in one through five. My first one on top is receiving gifts. Second is quality time, third is words of affirmation, fourth is acts of service, and five is physical touch in last place. But see, I think we have good physical touch. I don't know. Sarah's, oh, quality Sarah's time. number one is quality time. 
I'm surprised. Second is acts of service. Third is physical touch. Fourth is words of affirmation. And her last is receiving gifts. Thank you, God. But I buy her gifts. It makes sense to me because they say that the way that you show love is probably your love language. Why are you panting? Look at Stella's panting. I was matching my breathing with hers. <laughs> okay. If you want to do this quiz, I will put the link below. Happy Valentine's Day, you beautiful people. I love every single one of you guys. We love you. And y'all already know the deal. Check out my most recent video or the last thing I posted. It's pretty dope. The family is growing. I love you all. You guys know what's up. Peace, love, and adventures. And we will catch you guys next time. Say bye, Elijah. Say bye. Bye-bye. Say bye to the camera. Bye. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. And that's a wrap.